Welcome to our lecture online and here we're going to find the probability that x is somewhere between 75 and 110 if we look in the graph knowing that the expected value is equal to 100 which is the most probable value we're looking for a probability from 75 to 110 which means we're looking for the area between these two vertical lines. The best way to do that is to find this area right here to the left of the center and this area right here to the right of the center. And so in order to do that, we need to find the corresponding z values for x equals 75 and for x equals 110. So the z value is equal to x minus the expected value divided by sigma, which is a standard deviation. So let's try 75 minus 100 divided by 20, which is <clears throat> minus 25 divided by 20, which is minus 1.25. On the other side, we can z is equal to x minus the expected value divided by the standard deviation, which is 110 minus 100 divided by 20, which is 10 divided by 20, which is 0.5. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the areas corresponding to those z values. The fact that this is negative doesn't really matter because this is again this area right here, which would be the same as the positive area on the other side if it was plus 1.5 for the z value. So in this case, we can say that the probability is going to be equal to the probability, or in other words, it's going to be equal to the area with the z value of equal to 1.25 plus the z area, the, the area of the z, with the z value of 0.5. So the probability that we are uh, that zero, or not in this case zero, but a better way to look at it. Yes, it would be better to say it this way. So the probability that zero is less than or equal to z is less than or equal to 1.25, which will give us this area right here. So again, it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive because the area on both sides of the middle is the same, plus the probability of z is zero is less than or equal to z, less than or equal to 0 0.5. Remember that z is simply a fraction of sigma. So this here will correspond to this area right here. And this value right here will correspond to this area right there. And we can read out what that area is by just looking at the table. Notice I added another value, which we're going to need for this table. So the probability that 75 is less than x less than 110 is equal to this probability, which will be equal to 0 0.3944, 0 0.3944 plus this probability, 0 0.5, which is 0 0.1915, 0 0.1915, and when we add that together, we get 9, 1 plus 4 is 5, 9 plus 9 is 8, 1, that's 3, 4, and that's 5, and 0 0.5, let's quickly check, and that's correct. So this would be the probability, or 58.59%, that the x value will fall somewhere between 75 and 110. And that's how we do that with this nice approximation method.